We're also seeing hope in the fight against the pandemic. Healthcare workers in Southern California have started to get the first vaccines. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live at Cedar Sinai in Beverly Grove with a look at that effort and what's ahead for those next in line. Cara, good morning. Good morning, Suzanne. Exciting day here. The vaccines have arrived, and this hospital getting ready to vaccinate their workers within the next day or two. It's very, very cold. You can see this, the steam coming out of the boxes, and we secured them, and we're really excited. Chief Pharmacy Officer Rita Shane says Cedar Sinai got its first doses of hope today, several thousand of them. The hospital provided video of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccines being carefully moved into ultra-cold freezers. It'll store and distribute vaccines to five other L.A. County hospitals. Shane says Pfizer's vaccine has a high efficacy rate and appears to be very safe. Well, the vaccine doesn't have any uh, live COVID in it. it. It has a protein in, in it that will stimulate all of our systems to to our immune system. First to get the vaccines, frontline healthcare workers. Some of the staff at Kaiser Permanente Los Angeles got theirs yesterday. Also residents in long-term care facilities. The general public is not expected to be vaccinated before spring. But Shane says Moderna's vaccine may also get emergency authorization soon, which would make more vaccines available. It has uh, equivalent efficacy. Uh, I want to obviously do a deep dive into the report. Meanwhile, hospitals across the Southland are gearing up to offer their workers vaccinations this week. From Providence St. Joseph and UCI Medical Centers to Hogue Hospital in Orange County. 25,000 doses of the vaccine will be flown into John Wayne Airport tomorrow. Shane says the workers will need to get two doses of the vaccine and will be carefully followed. They're also going to get follow up uh, texts uh, just to see how they're doing because there's a uh, prolonged safety monitoring. And it will take a couple weeks for workers to build up immunity from those vaccines, but this will provide some crucial peace of mind to Marco as this fight against COVID moves forward.